And we have the next race online. It's the men's lightweight quadruple skulls final eight. In lane one, China. In lane two, Germany. In lane three, Poland. In lane four, Greece. In lane five, Italy. And in lane six, it's Austria. Let's hear it from Sam, who's following the race in the commentary car. We are indeed. We're just short of 250 meters. Looking at the numbers, could be anyone's race. Greece with the best times, but in the heat, all six crews within four seconds. And in the semi, all six crews within five seconds. So very, very little to choose between these crews. As it stands, Greece just out in front. They lead Italy. Italy, the defending world champions. Uh, a different crew, but the defending nation. They also hold the world's best time from Montreal way back in 1992. That record stood for 20 years now. But on the water, we're with just short of 500 meters. The full field wind-up. Greece are out in front. As long as they can hold off China on the far side, looking very, very strong. Then it's just Italy ahead of Austria running in fourth place. Then we're with Poland in fifth and Germany in sixth place. We've just come through the 500 meter marker in the A final of the men's lightweight quadruple skulls. Dami and gentlemen, starting the final series in the discipline of the fourth school of the category of the men. First corridor, Kitai. Second corridor, Germany. Third corridor, Polish. Fourth, Grecia. Fifth, Italy. Sixth, Austria. На първата контрола от 500 метра Гърция първа премина с време на 26.47, втора позиция за Китай с разлика от 32 стотни, трета позиция за Италия с разлика от 95 стотни, четвърта позиция за Полша, пета за Австрия и шеста за Германия. 15 crews entered the men's lightweight quadruple scales and we're with the fastest six of those crews. We're through 750 meters and making a break for it, it's Greece that takes three quarters of a length out of the pack. Second, following them most closely, is China that chased them down. They're three quarters of a length down. Third, difficult to judge, Italy just about. Klingon in front of Austria running in fourth and Poland in fifth. That relegates Germany to sixth place. They were one of the slower crews on the way to this event. Sixth in the heat and fifth in the semi. So seeing them at the back of the pack, perhaps no great surprise. The Austrian crew in lane six, that uh, crew that just, just got through by thousands after the semi-final in a minute time of six minutes. 0.85, six minutes dead, near enough. Then it's Greece at a thousand meters. They've got three quarters of a length to China, looking incredibly strong given they were fourth in their heat and sixth in the semi final. They're up in second and challenging hard. Then third, now Italy ahead of a fourth place, Poland. Fifth, now Austria, just ahead of Germany as we come through the halfway mark. След контролата от 1000, на 1000 метра, Гърция продължава да води с време 2.55.85. Китай на втора позиция с секунда и 16 стотни разлик, трета позиция запазва Италия с секунда 83. Полша на четвърта позиция, Астрия на пета и Германия на шеста. Very calm flat waters at 1250 being torn apart by the six rampaging lightweight quadruple skulls. It's Greece out in front of China in second place. Third, I choose Italy at this point as long as they can hold off Poland to the line. Then falling back from the pace, Austria now in fifth ahead of Germany in sixth, but with everything left to play for in the next 600 meters. We've seen Austria about mostly at under 23 level. We saw them at the juniors uh, four years ago now in the men's lightweight quadruple skulls. Um, no medals for them there, but uh, and also slipping into sixth place now as we come towards the 1500 meters. An experienced crew nonetheless. China challenged Greece at the front of the field. Those are the fastest of the crews as we come into the closing quarter. Very strong stuff from Greece. They were fastest on the way here. 5.57 they put through in their uh, semi-final. A blistering time. And at 1500 they do look set to take the gold. Their closest challenger, China, on the far side sits within about half a canvas. Let's not forget Poland. They've moved up fast and have come through Italy in to third place. Germany running fifth, they're three quarters of a length down, and Austria are clear water astern as they come at towards 1750 meters. Гърция удържа лидерството и след 1500 метра с време 4.26.69. Само 30 стотни след Гърция е лодката на Китай. Трета позиция за Полша с разлика от секунда и 12 стотни. Четвърта позиция за Италия, пета за Германия и шеста за Австрия. 
1750 meters the next marker and getting there first I'd say Poland at this point perhaps a bit of a surprise there but very very strong stuff as they plow through Greece like they're not even there China fading as we come into the last 200 meters the field reads Poland in first ahead of Greece running second place China are on the third on the far side they're in third Italy come back strongly three quarters of a length down with 200 meters left to run Germany are in fifth. The Italian bowman looks over, calls a push. They drive hard into the closing 150 meters. Poland, though, great form from them. They storm through with 200 meters left to run. They take three quarters of a length ahead of Greece. They're out in front, storming towards gold medal position. Greece are in second. They were gold now in that silver position. They hold off China to the line. They should get their third ahead of Italy. Then it looks very, very close to me, but Germany ahead of Austria. You say you never had it so good Great finish of the Polish crew They managed to reach the first place After they scored the third place at the 1500,000 meter So their winning time is 5 minutes 55 seconds 03 On the second place we have the Greece crew Third spot for China Fourth place for Italy Fifth place for Germany And sixth was Austria Церемония по награждаването на победителите от Световното първенство по грабане Плодио 2012 в дисциплината четворка с колека категория мъже. Церемония по токолер де шампиона ду мунд сеньор и жуниор 2012 4 рамър ан купл по леже. The victory ceremony for the 2012 World Rowing Senior and Junior Championships Lightweight Men's Quadruple Skulls. Медалите ще бъдат връчени от... Les médailles seront remises par The medals will be presented by FISA President Mr. Dennis Oswald Който ще бъде предружен от Accompanied de Accompanied by District Mayor of Plovdiv West Ms. Desislava Zheljaskova Nosetel na bronze of medal Médaille de bronze Winner of the bronze medal People's Republic of China Бронзовите отличия за Китай спечелиха La République Populaire de Chine, représentée par People's Republic of China, represented by Liang Yang Yang Guo Yang Fa Guo Feng and Kong Deming Носител на сребърен медал от дисциплината е Медай Даржо Winner of the silver medal, Greece Сребърните отличия за Гърция спечелиха La Grèce, represented by Greece, represented by Yorgos Consolas Nikolaos Apentulis Panayotis Magdanis Elepterios Consolas Nosetel na zlatan medal i svetovan šampion pogrebane za 2012 godina je Medaj d'or i šampion du monde senior 2012 Winner of the gold medal and 2012 World Rowing Senior Champions, Poland! Световната титла за Польша спечелиха La Pologne, represented by Poland, represented by Adam Sobchak Mariusz Stanchuk Artur Mikolajszczewski Milosz Jankowski
Dame i gospoda nacionalni odhim na Polše. Mesdames et messieurs, l'hymne national de la Pologne. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Poland. Нека аплодираме медалистите от дисциплината. И възаплодисмо по номедайе. Please acknowledge all of our medalists. 